how it's learning how to how to read how liquid thinks. I, I was working with them for quite some time, so you get a general sense of how they feel about the game, and uh, this is going to be pretty common for them, just because uh, I know for a fact that Matsu really likes the timber saw. Uh, first tower destruction, five to eight. Total number of smoke gank kills at the end. I think this is going to be a high number. Yeah, I'm going to say nine to twelve. Oh, DDC, Off looks top. like he's dead. Okay, so Liquid needs things like this, and Getting it on your Death Prophet is probably the best hero that you can possibly get first blood on is yeah, mid laner. The Timber Saw at bottom, like we talked about, is getting absolute farm, but uh, still a little bit of concern. Of course, is always that Storm's going to have an okay game. Is Kuro is now dead. He is level four, so that is uh, a kill that's worth quite a lot. They are going to try and dive on a no no with Fada. Not quite there. Meanwhile, the smoke up. Jarek, he's going to be able to catch FY still to get the turnaround kill with the help of Matumba Man, it seems like, or not. Matsu. He's not actually going to go down. They chained all the way to left, and oh, no. oh, FY fast enough. Meanwhile, over at mid, no no. Just saw him zip across the map. He's just trying to make a go on the Fada there. That was incredibly greedy by Matuma Man. Yeah. He could have just had one, but instead, now Fada's gonna go down mid. Yeah, give him a kill to no no. Yeah. And there's even gonna be a regen rune at the top. Oh. That was pretty godly by Mikasa as a rotation. Yeah, His... this is this is only a taste of what we were talking about, right? But when when we're talking about the, the draft and how we see things matching up, and then you see the laning phase, you see this 4-0 start. That had to happen for Liquid just to make this this strategy kind of look yeah. good. Liquid up the top, they gotta get going as Mind Control should be dead here. Nono's got full mana. And they're gonna drop a Tombstone here, try and help Mind Control out with a little bit of heal. Kuro is still gonna be caught though. Silence up, hit by the stun, and Matu unable to do much about this one until Fada comes in now. It looks like there's a separation of thought here. Matsu doesn't actually back Fada's play. Finally comes in with the Timber Chain. They'll be able to catch DDC. But that really was all. Maybe they could have caught a little bit more if they went back in together. Matsu still looking for the dive here. And is going to try and slow him down. The Timber Chain will get the distance close. And is going to be run down even further. They have the Spirit Siphon on him. Double Silence. Push back though. On the background, Jerex is going to be gone on by No No. He expended all of his mana for that one. Fada turns towards him. Gets a little bit more damage out. Looks like Mind Control is going to try and run him down while the rest of EGR focusing down Fada. And they'll get him too. The exorcism of not enough. No No staying one step ahead of Mind Control. But finally, the right clicks will finish him off. Him and Montu. Mind Control and Montu looking for more. DDC is going to be slowed down. The Flame Break pushes him back. He's got a lot of sticky napalm stacks. But it doesn't look like it's quite enough. And you're worried about anything at all, you just immediately transition into the Radiant Jungle. And it looks like VGR, they're still okay to take this fight. It's 3v5. They can TP in two heroes, but Liquid. Yeah, they're but they're running the right past the tier one tower. It looks like they may actually be sandwiched here. Jarek's gonna start things off with a simple Fatal. Getting a little damage out. Kuro gonna be the target here for the Skyrim Mage. Could finish off that ultimate. And now they're actually in trouble on two sides. Storm Spirit's gonna have to jump back, but straight to the hands of the rest of Liquid. It's all three cores are now. right by the tier one tower. And Nodo is gonna be run down. Pops a little bit more, tries to get the jump out. They're gonna Not in time. Over at Jarek's, they're gonna go for FY, while DDC is gonna be run down by the three cores of Liquid without a doubt. He is 100% dead. Now it just comes down to a question of whether Jerex actually dropped his mana boon so he could pop the wand for the little bit of extra mana and zips him down with the Fateful. Jerex is, when he plays that Rubik, to be a carry again. EGR though, I, they're still in a pretty good position. I, I still favor their draft in some ways because like we saw right there at Liquid, they had to out-execute. They had to out-maneuver. But I think BGR's lineup, it's more of when it'll happen. Yeah. In a way. All it takes is one good fight by them. They're going to die apart for this. They do have the tombstone out. Matu finally ends up going down. Now they can turn on the tombstone. That's not going to be safe. But BGR all very low. Maybe they can get some redemption for the timber soft. Mikasa, he's going to be the first one to go down. The jump oh, that jump. Derek, and he got DDC as well. My control will pull back in, and that is surely worth it for Team Liquid. That. Trading the timber soft for three. Jarek's with that stolen ball lightning. Cosplaying a storm behind the Storm Spirit, yeah. which is why I think this is kind of a scary move by Liquid to make. The only time you should ever assault into your own jungle like this is 
A, you're either smoking, or B, you're in forces 5, and Liquid is neither of that, and they might just lose a hero for free as a result. Yeah, they certainly... And we just talked about A, these Master with the Primal Roar with a combination of MY to jump in from No-No, the last bit of mana needed, but it's enough to get the Timber Saw, but Fada, he sees this opportunity, he's got a Spirit Cycling forward, the Swap goes down, they turn and stun Fada, and they have the Necronomicon minion down, but now the turnaround, Jarex actually comes in with a Primal Roar of his own, blows out the Beastmaster, stops DDC's teleport out, and Liquid... Mm, it feels like that engagement's okay for them. Obviously, Matumba Man's uh, timber saw is big. What? And he didn't just run away. He took that tier one tower, stuck around. I'm not sure that why, because surely greedy. he should have known that Liquid were on their way. And now that makes it definitely worth it. I was going to say a tier one lost. And Plus the storm. Uh, whereas Liquid's lineup is more predicated on the fact of getting constant pickoffs. And getting into a straight-on push scenario seems a little bit scary, but... Yeah. The smoke yeah, up. The smoke They're going to run into Mike with... It's going to be an awkward fight. They're going to have to go into the high ground. And a force that forward actually gets Kuro out of forward. danger. A run-in from No-No is going to try and chase down Kuro. But meanwhile, in the middle of the fight, we already see the Beastmaster being taken out. Now they're going to try and focus down Fada. But he managed to get the Yules off, but just gets blown off by the physical damage. Maybe Matu can turn things around. He will be able to take out the Aegis. He gets a little bit more damage on DDC, but it's all trying to full out retreat. <laughs> Derek with the stolen swap will save. Turn around, kill DDC. But no no's on the hunt. He still managed to chase down Matumba Man. FY will not be victim to Jerix's shenanigans just yet. Four down from Team Liquid and VGR only lose two plus the Aegis. Arcane. Okay, the so storm dream. this means that VG, it's now VGR's time to strike, right? Yeah, you just wait just for go. the exorcism. The ghosts are almost down. I don't think Liquid expects this fight. It's the big thing. Yeah. They might just run into Matumba Man here. Surprise, Matumba Man. Oh, there's a force snap. He gets a little bit of space. Rana is going to lose his exorcism now, though. There goes a lot of the damage. No, no, he's silenced up. Matumba Man can't quite get the damage. Now he's the one silenced up. But Liquid, oh, they're, they're actually ripping through. through all of these heroes one by one. They're cleaning up the rest of the side. Like, Jerex is actually going to be able to survive through that. They easily get the kill there. And on the side, and is also going to die on the Draw oh. Ranger. So. Liquid, whether they expected it or not, they managed to win that fight. And now, are they in a position to go high ground? They don't have exorcism, but it no. looks like they're going to drop. Team 28 and a half minutes in, and it feels like the game has swung back in the favor of Team Liquid. We're talking about these periods of time, these these small, it's, it's the difference of like three or four minutes, but these, these periods of time where one team has advantage, but they oh, that swap, swap back in, they're going to be able to pop Fada, maybe the roar goes down, and the old scepter goes off for Fada, he's still going to get taken out by No-No, but they do manage to get some damage out in return, BGR going to pursue, they've already taken out two, and they've got No-No on the high ground, oh, it takes a lot of damage from a tumble man, Kuro not going to be able to get around a range of that tier two tower, he ends up dropping oh, to the shot, and a tumble man, He's too far out. Silence one, silence two, and VGR will claim four for two. That was absolutely sick combination by VGR. So they say to themselves, VGR, if you think about it, they said, okay, our roar is just not working. Radiance but yeah. no one should start getting out as a group because there's no way they're going to win this team fight. They start drawing it, but they're not getting out fast enough. Maybe they actually want to fight around here. They're going to put Matumba Man on the front line, baiting him out. The Primal War goes down, but already an Orchid on to Jerex. That's going to stop a lot of the momentum. No, no, he's actually lassoed up, though, and Jerex may actually survive. BKB goes down, Primal War on to Nodo. That'll stop the damage even further. Fada out there with the Exorcism. Gets the old Scepter off, dodging a lot of that Skyrim. Ultimate. He still has spirit sizes, but the physical damage is about to overwhelm him. He does go down, but the Draw Ranger is gone as well, and no no's out. He loses the Aegis and PGR down five. What? And now Storm Spirit comes back up. They get the telekinesis. Do they have the burst damage? No way. No no. Bounce around. Oh, what is one is the lightning battle? No no. What? He jump and he got him. Jerex. Unbelievable. Jerex. What a god on the support position. Oh. <laughs> Holy crap! I I cannot believe that Liquid won this team fight. It logically makes no sense. Take that first jump of Storm. Want to get a kill? If you don't, then you're kind of just you're just kind of stuck there. You're not really sure what to do. Initiation up here at the top lane. They're gonna go for end. DDC's ready to go with the swap, but this swap may not actually save him. Mind control already in place. Doesn't have the lasso just yet, but he's got the fire damage coming out. No, no, is actually gonna be able to stop him. Looks like mind control will get popped, and DDC will be the traded life, but he is fine with that. 
sacrifices his life to get his team to kill on the Bat Rider and, and save the, the Dro Ranger and the gem. Yeah, that's set of items that allows Liquid to like go and try and take five bands again against VGR, or is it just opportunities? Uh, probably. Oh, this is gonna be. It's gonna be a rough disaster. One. Yeah, four versus five. Already a jump in from No No. He caught my control and maybe might be able to pop him. Yeah, there it goes down. Primal Roar on the Kuro as well. Bada is gonna be left almost alone against all these teams. A sea of VGR heroes. Exorcism not going to be enough as he gets immediately right clicked down. That was the help of Drown Ranger's physical damage. The big issue there is that. Liquid, they were walking around this ward, and Matama Man actually never walked past it. Oh. So they learned so late. That As they Matama do Man have the boots to travel on Timbersaw, he's going to start TPing into the mid lane while the rest of Mind, con uh, mind Control and his boys push out of the four man here. They're going to try and grab Nono and burst him down as quick as possible. They still have the Telkinese. Lotus Orc goes out, being hit the activated by Nono. Kuro is going to be the target of Nono with his invulnerability. The Kasa, meanwhile, as well. And then Fly, they're going to be run down by Fada. Goes up next. And he's going to be a target. They surround this draw ranger as quick as possible. Dono back in with the reinforcements, but N still going to be dropped here by the exorcism as he just cannot survive. The, uh, the age is finally down, and they pop the storm spirit. Next up, life number two of N, but a draw ranger without any allies would surely be dead if it wasn't for that invisibility. There's a lot of gems on the ground. <laughs> There's and just, yeah, it's, it's a slot. They sell the eggs, grab the Dagon 5. Storm Spirit still has that arcane the Hawk might have gotten a little bit of idea on that smoke. Not quite sure. If not, it's going to get some information that they're not seeing anybody in base. And looks like VGR. Oh, the boar is going to spot him out as the smoke pops. No, no, going to jump over. Trying to go for curl first. But the right man has to this. But Tampa Man just loses it. VGR are now going to steamroll through Liquid, it seems. They have the tombstone out. Fon is trying to make his retreat. He has the exorcism plus some spirit siphons. But inevitably, he's going to get right click down. The pull back there with the help of Lotus Orb goes after, buying some time. He's getting a lot of damage out, but it's just never going to be enough. VGR tanking his five, and we'll finally kill him. Buyback immediately there from one. But he doesn't have the exorcism, nor do they have the Tumble Man. He's still 30 seconds down in the grave. I not sure why Matumba Man got so far away from the rest of his team. VGR probably would have lost that fight if Liquid stayed together as a group, if you just consider how long that Death Prophet survived for. Mm -hmm. She did so much damage, but the other primary damage dealer in this Timbersaw just kind of went in 1v4, and Nono with his BKB was so hard to take down because he still has 2400 HP and 30 armor on him. This is a hero that doesn't go down easily. And now Liquid gonna get Mega Creeps. I think Ana comes in, gets swapped actually, pops the BKB, but physical damage on the right hand side from N is destroying N. But Tumba Man's gonna be up next as he's sitting inside the Skyrim page also, and just like that, VG is called from Team Liquid. And VGR, we set the story here that VGR would need at least one win against Team Liquid to really turn around their score in the group stage right now. They've already done it in game number one. We'll see what happens in game number two though. In this game, I think, like we talked about, VGR had the superior draft, or at least the easier to execute draft, even though Liquid...